this is seventh standard science class and the chapter we are dealing with is physical and chemical changes and i am ashoda talking to you all children today in this session let us discuss some of the examples for chemical reactions and we shall see the further part of it also children in the in the previous class we just learned about the changes that occur in the chemical reactions so all these are the changes that occur in the chemical reaction when the chemical reaction is going on or it will take place so in this session let's discuss some of the examples some more examples for chemical reaction in the previous classes children that we have learned that magnesium ribbon when this magnesium ribbon was burnt we got some white colored ashes so that was uh, again a chemical reaction and whenever we burn this um, any substance that means for example coal burning of a coal wood uh, leaves any substance children anything is burnt that will be a chemical reaction only so when any substances are burnt it gives rise to heat also it gives rise to heat and uh, that is one of the important process that has to be absorbed so that is uh, one thing this is that also can that is also uh, one of the example for a chemical reaction you must have heard about the fireworks that means the crackers so we have we celebrate uh, uh, we play with the this fire crackers uh, during the diwali time and all so when we burn them when we burst this crackers we get three important things that means the light is produced heat and at the same time sound so this is again a chemical reaction but of course a reaction uh, that is which is actually very much unpleasant it pollutes the air it pollutes our uh, atmosphere and everything so we are studying here this as one of the example for chemical reaction so that is one thing children so later we must have you must have observed the food which is kept uh, in the kitchen without taking care of it maybe not refrigerated or something like that it will get spoiled so when the food is spoiled it gives rise to a foul smell a very odd smell uh, uh, which is unbearable uh, the color of the food also changes and even the taste also taste of the food also changes so all the three things uh, tells us that the food is completely spoiled this is also one of the um, Uh, it is also because of the chemicals which are present in the food reacts with the atmospheric uh, components and results in spoilage of food so this also can be taken as chemical reaction whenever uh, we cut this apple brinjal potato or some of the uh, vegetables children you make it into slices and keep it in one container and wait for some time maybe for 15 20 minutes or something like that on the surface of these vegetables children you can observe a brownish uh, color will appear so this is also because of the chemical reactions all the vegetables and fruits contain certain type of enzymes those enzymes are nothing but the chemicals and those enzymes react with the environmental um, components so that results in change of color of the food and, uh, that is fruits and vegetables maybe not all but some of them apart from this children so so many different types of chemical examples we learned there is one chemical reaction uh, that takes place uh, with this ozone layer so here in the box you have a very important information children i request all of you to go through this information as we all know we have our earth so we have our earth and our earth contains atmosphere and in the atmosphere of the earth we have a very important chemical called as ozone ozone is actually o3 that means three molecules of oxygen combines together and becomes ozone so this ozone layer so we have earth and around it we have atmosphere and in the earth's atmosphere we have this ozone layer this ozone layer absorbs the ultraviolet rays that will be coming from the sun and it breaks down that means 
brings it down to oxygen and that oxygen will be utilized by uh, us for our survival. So breaking down of ozone that means O3 to O2 that is oxygen is also a kind of chemical reaction. If at all this does not take place so ozone that means O3 directly reaches our earth and uh, we all have to suffer from different types of diseases. So that is how uh, breaking up ozone to oxygen plays an important role in uh, filtering the radiations that is ultraviolet rays that uh, comes from sun and protecting us from different types of diseases. Children, uh, we discussed about different types of chemical reactions, examples along with that how a ozone layer is a, a protective shield for us. See you in the next video class. Thank you.